So with six rounds on the board, we'll see what they can do. But first, they need to win the pistol. That's a good start. Ali gonna shoot Olaf Meister. Jumping past him. Leave him a postcard in the face. An advantage for the NIP side now. Make that too. Alu just looking for yet more aggression. Doesn't realize he's being shot. You can hear those bullets whistling past. Finally realizes, but he'll move. Face down Crims, but can he get the frag? Indeed he can. Alu is just wrecking people here. He is waiting though for it to come in, and Dennis is not going to find a connection. That said, it's a man advantage for the CCs there as they're pushing in, and this is almost a complete wipeout. Happy is the only one that remains. He is going to, uh, again, reset the situation. He's got time on his side, and obviously that was super unfavorable. You don't want to come out with a choke point on your own with a whole team facing you. Got to get himself a one versus one, although he's only got 10 bullets left in this pistol. There is one in the pop dog, which he might try to retrieve. Now, we can see Jacob is in the uh, pop dog area itself. His teammate smokes it off, which might allow, actually, Happy to retrieve that gun. Indeed, it would if he wanted to go for it, but he's going to stand there with his CZ for now, which is interesting because he doesn't actually need it at this point. At least for, the, for this kind of close quarters engagement. So, he's going to push. Another frag comes in. He's only got six bullets left now. Now he's got no bullets left, Dan. Happened and passed out. So essentially, despite being round, down three rounds, if MD is up on what you killed, there is a nice headshot from Kiyoshima. Then they have done the job. They know they're in a poor position, but it's okay. This is a winnable position. I think even with three people there, it's so hard to defend on a map, such as training room, where there are so many sneaky angles and alleys. So will G2 continue to engage Kishima Deagle in such fashion? 23 seconds left, and uh, he's getting towards the time where he can't rotate towards the B bomb site. There goes another Deagle kill. Just Makalele now, but he's got the time on his side. He's going to go for the peak anyway. But he can play the clock. Kishima has to plant the bomb now. Unless oh, Makalele runs out into the middle of nowhere with no cover and gets killed by you know why then? You know what's hilarious? Why? Is that? That no. NIP's push has been completely shut down. This really sucks for Get Right, who's in a great position, but he needs teammates to play off of. Now in he goes, as Forrest is going to double back in towards B. This could be really awesome here for NIP. If Get Right can find a sneaky kill, then he's going to completely distract Titan. But they're two to a bomb site. Forrest has to act quickly with that 9 HP. Yeah, there are 15 seconds here for the conversion to be made, and now he's got to dance through the bullets of Smiths and make it, otherwise the bomb's going to be lost. Smith goes down, so does Existence. Seven seconds left, and this plant is going to come in with Get Right holding down the uh, Double Doors area, and it's a long rotation from Tyson, but they have a potential flank coming in. Forrest just gets around the box in time and manages to off-scream as well. Thank you, Smiths, he will say. Shocks versus two. That Molotov will give his position away based on the trajectory. Look at Get Right, he's going all the way around to flank from the drop zone. Fox just waiting, he knows Get Right's alive. Doesn't know where he is though. Fox has to fake, he's got no kick here, and he's got no more HP for us to finish him off from the platform as well. Wow. Does it matter, James? Is it going to be like that flank from before? Well, Scream is going to be able to take two quick entries there, but he's alone. Completely alone, but he'll take another kill as he tries to clutch his... One more! Oh my god, Scream! Please stop! That's amazing! Four kills already for him.